Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Byte Dance has come up with another gem. This time they have released Infinite U, which is a model that is designed to create high quality, high fidelity images of specific individuals based on text prompts. We are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. This Infinite U or Inf U uses advanced techniques like Diffusion Transformer, which are the models that gradually improve image quality step by step, guided by attention mechanism. Inf U includes a key part called as Infuse Net, which adds identity related details directly into the Diffusion Transformer model, helping the generated pictures look more similar to the person while still following the given text description. Let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM, my Ubuntu 22.04 and this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment and if you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% for range of GPU, so do check them out. My Coda environment is almost done. And now let's git clone the repo of Infinite U and I will drop the link to it in video's description, which you can check out. And then the step comes where we need to install all the prerequisites. This takes around two to three minutes. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. And everything is installed. Let me clear the screen here. And now in order to launch a local demo, all we need to do is to run this Python app.py from the root of the repo. And the first time when we run it, you can see that it is downloading all the models. So let's wait for them to get downloaded. And while it downloads, if you, this is the first time you have heard about ByteDance, they have been releasing real extraordinary stuff for quite some time now. So if you just go to my channel and search with ByteDance, you can see that they have released a lot of models of different types, including recommendation systems, some um, text to video, text to image, some GUI agent, some lip sync models. And then even recently, they also released something uh, called as Elbrix, where you can install these models um, on Kubernetes for global scale. So a lot of good stuff they have released over the last few months. Okay, and also I wanted to talk a bit more about the architecture of this model as it installs it around the fact that not only this model improves the quality of generation, but also the accuracy as it uses a multi-stage training strategy, which means it first uses general training, which is called as pre-training, and then more focused fine tuning training using SFT on special synthetic data set, single person, multiple sample. And then overall, it's really, really good at keeping a person's identity clear, matching picture closely to text prompts and producing visually appealing results. And if you look at the list of the models which are being downloaded, you can see that now it is downloading Flux1 dev model which is one of the best models or maybe the best of all times when it comes to text to image generation. So make sure that you have around 50 gig of space available on your disk because just this flux dev is around 24 gig of size. And I think the other model, which it uses also inside and view there. So all in all, I believe it uses around 50 gig of disk space. And all the models have been downloaded. Now it is running on our local host at port 7860. So let's access it. And there you go. This is our infinite U flux model. So I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so that we would be able to see what is happening. Okay, so let's play with it. And there you go. I got an error while running it. So the reason being is that 
my GPU ran out of memory because it is loading so much stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move on to a bigger GPU and then we will run it again. So let me jump onto my bigger GPU machine. Okay, so I have moved on to my 80 GB VRAM H100 GPU and it is consuming around 80, almost 80 GB of VRAM. So it is very slow, but, but I will try to show you uh, with one of the examples. So let me quickly select one of the examples they have. So I'm just going to scroll down. Okay, so this is how it works. Now, what you need to do first on the left hand side, you need to upload an identity image containing a human face. And if you have an image with multiple faces, only the largest face will be detected. And then uh, make sure that the face should be clear and large enough without significant occlusions or blur. And then we have on the uh, right hand side, there is a control image, which is optional. You don't have to give it, but it's always a good idea. And that primarily uh, gives some facial key points to control the generation. And this is important where we want this image to be in a portrait format and should be cinematic. So let me quickly click on this generate button. It is generating the image. It is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait. I have seen it taking around sometime one minute, two minutes, even five minutes. So just have to be patient about it. And there you go, it has generated this image. Now, uh, my system is, you know, very, very slow. It is almost stuck. So it generates really good quality images and that shows you that it is using Flux model because this sort of depth, clarity, vibrancy, and, you know, the high density and high fidelity effect only comes through the Flux models. So, um, and also they are using some of the low rank adaptations or LoRa on top of it. And that is why you can see that not only the image quality is very, very good, but also it is being controlled, especially the pose with the control image. And then it has taken all the facial features from the source image. But as you can already tell, the system is so stuck, I can't even move my mouse. So I'm not going to show you any more examples. So I'm glad that I was able to do at least one. But having said that, you can select your own images and then go from there. The only criticism which I think is a valid one is that it takes a lot of resources. Having said that, we have already covered a lot of LoRa's on our channel where we have used Flux model as a base, then LoRa, and then by using either Comfy UI or from the Python scripts, we have generated similar sort of stuff, if not uh, the same. This is good. This is really good quality, but I think they should work on reducing the resource requirement here because at the moment it is almost unworkable. Anyway, so that's it. Let me know what do you think about this. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.